Dr. Monaghan slammed EU leaders for taking Madrid's side following Catalonia's independence referendum. The pro-European SNP politicians said Brussels should have condemned the Spanish government for its violent reaction to the vote. He told RT it's very, very disappointing that the European Union has not developed a view on that and has not condemned the violence that was supported by the Spanish government. Some of the briefings I have received suggest that the case for the referendum is, at the very least, arguable. GTTYRT UKDR Monaghan called out Junket for failing to condemn Madrid. DR Monaghan dismissed the ruling of the Spanish Constitutional Court deeming the independence vote illegal, saying that it did not support the decision. He added it certainly seems to have had international law on its side and I think that, given that the Spanish government historically has incorporated international law into domestic law in Spain, the referendum held by the Catalan government is potentially legal. I think it's supported differently in the mainstream media, clearly, but I think there is some good evidence to suggest that the vote should have taken place, did take place, was subject to extreme action by the Spanish government. Earlier this week, Mr. Monaghan lashed EU Commissioner Jean-Claude Juncker and EU Council President Donald Tusk for the untenable positions they had adopted in regards to Catalonia. He said I think the position of the current leaders of the EU is untenable and I think that over time they will be forced to reconsider their position and start to focus on the rights of the Catalan people rather than supporting the extreme policies of the Spanish government. I was in Catalonia for the referendum and I observed violence from the Spanish Unionists before the vote, which supports the view that relatively large numbers of people are being bussed in from other parts of Spain to Barcelona to make the point that the Union of Spain is important, despite orders from Madrid calling for the dissolution of the Catalan government. The autonomous region decided to defy Prime Minister Mariano Rajoy and continue to operate. The decision comes after Attorney General José Manuel Maza pressed charges against Catalan President Carles Puigdemont citing rebellion, sedition and embezzlement. In his first public appearance since the charges were filed, Mr. Pugdemont revealed he traveled to Brussels to make the EU see the current crisis as a priority and to show the aggressive behavior from Spain. Defiant Pugdemont declares that Catalonia would not accept the triggering of Article 155 and return all powers to Madrid.